Hello and welcome back to another one of my YouTube videos. So today in this video I'm going to be tackling a job on my 190E. So when the car broke down, the rating company that came out to um, look at the car, obviously he, he was doing all he needed to do to have a look at the car, and he undone the air filter housing to have a look inside to see if that could have caused an issue. Well there wasn't anything in the air filter housing to prevent, to prevent the car from starting, however we did notice a different problem, which was quite a bit of oil sitting at the bottom of the air filter. So what's happening is the oil is being sucked through in the breather hose from the crankcase or from the crank cover head, okay, okay, you know, and then uh, coming through there and being deposited into the oil, into the air filter housing. So quite when I when I'm when I looking under the cam cover, I don't know just why that's happening. Obviously, that's like when I'm trying to figure out why the car wouldn't start. When I was doing a little check, we'd have seen in that video already. But yeah, so I noticed that little rubber hose was uh, broken. This a tiny little hose, cost, cost £2.20 from Mercedes. So, still available. And probably worth doing actually, in all fairness. But I'd, I'd say it's worth taking off your head, the, um, your head covers and double checking this because, um, that's like mine, it's all degraded and cracked. And obviously it's uh, allowing oil to come through. If that falls down into the head and then drops down and goes into the crank into the crank case or something and gets caught in the bearing, I imagine it's pretty good and pretty nasty. Not any rubber, it's not metal. But still I wouldn't have thought that'd be very good for it, the bearings or anything. Having pieces of rubber falling down into them and um it potentially blocking oil getting into the bearings where it needs to be, so probably worth checking checking this and uh, making sure um Yours is not cracked or whatever, and, and allowing too much oil to go into your air filter housing. Yeah, probably worth checking. Like it's not even pliable. I've to see when I take that off how pliable it is, but I don't think it's going to be very pliable at all, knowing it's cracked completely in half on one side and it's barely hanging on at all. So, yeah, definitely worth a uh, look. It's not, it's not hard to take your air filter off and whatever and check. That can take too long, so yeah, definitely worth definitely worth having a look on in there if you haven't already. Like I said, for, for £2.20 £2 piece of hose, yeah, it's definitely worth changing that and um, making sure it's going to last a lot longer again and not cause any damage. So, if you want to know the part number for this, it's A102997 0082. But obviously make sure that part number is safe for your vehicle as well. Obviously this part number is good for my car. But then my engine is a um in a pre-facelift, so they change slightly over the years. Not sure when that be any different with the cam cover head, the cam cover with all drip pan. I imagine it probably still be the same, but you can always go online and check or ring your Mercedes dealership and ask for that hose. And I'm sure they will have no problem and looking for you to see if they can find it. It's still available though, so if, you, if they can't find it, obviously you've got the part number and hopefully that might fit your car off here. I think it will do. But yeah, so I want to stop draining, which I think I've got a clear break. Let's try getting sunny again. I'm going to open the bonnet up, change the part up really quickly, hopefully, and um, yeah, let's see if we can stop the oil from getting everywhere. So once um, you stop raining, like I said, I'll bring you back and um, we'll go from there. Here, you see just here just how much oil is in the air filter and you know see it come out just here we're going to start with taking it off the air filter top so you can see how much oil is currently residing in this air filter housing and these clips are always ah, pains pains in the back side especially this back one here going in this back one always I actually stay on. Let's see if it's still pushing, pushing back up still. And these are 10 mils, I believe. Yep. I don't need this extension, but I'm going to put it on anyway. I feel like to grab the extension rod, stabilize it, and make sure the. Like that, you can let go of it. It doesn't match it. This is why I like using extension models. But when he's not on, 
if I can get a couple. I do need to get the cover repainted properly. As you can tell by the colour, I did it myself and the condition. Yeah, one day maybe, one day, I'll get it done properly. For now, actually, no, I'm not, not raining, so that should be fine. But yeah, there you go. Look at all the oil that is just residing here in the cover after it comes up through the coals and it's uh, leaking past here and getting around everywhere. You can tell by the amount of oil. Actually, yeah, it's just right, and look at all the oil actually going into the engine as well. You see on the thing here, it's uh, obviously all the oil coming from, through and burning off, which is why the car smells quite fumy. We need to get this cover off and uh, change that very quickly and actually clean this out as well. Do the bottom, so what I'm gonna do I'm actually gonna pull it off the filter. Get the filter there, which actually I may end up changing all these pipes as well. Oh, that might not help the running of the car. Let's put that back in. That might be why the car's running a bit. I won't say rubbish, but actually it would be rubbish but the car isn't running that good. The idle's not very good. Hopefully that might be the cause. It's a short it's hope the yeah, vacuum line falling off. We might actually end up replacing all these holes as you form. Won't do that today, but they do need to get done, so actually we'll probably will end up ordering all that as well and doing that on a different video. Right, so here you can see my little tube and uh, how disgusting and hard it is. And if I turn it down here, can you see that big crack? And I was putting that wash face down like this originally, but I turn it around to try and stop all getting through. But you can see how and why all does get through. Now I'm actually going to change the plug again, because I need to cover it all again, so I don't want all getting on my tools. Okay, so there's a coat plate, that's right guys. Oh. Yeah, that's not the right size, and we're gonna um, start stripping this not careful. It's a bit loose, yeah, so go one size up. Last thing I want to do is strip the bolts on this. Not bolts and screws, so that's too big now. Right, 
Therefore, we're going to try in between both of them. Hopefully, they should be fit perfectly. Yeah, one size in between, no bubble. There we go. Need to be very careful on this job. That looks a bit warped. That looks wobbly coming out. Don't slide about, please. Can you uh, please stop sliding about on me? I do not want to damage you or the car. You were standing still a minute ago. Not moving. Now you start standing still. They have been tight, which obviously makes a good reason why they are, but I think they stripped already. That is not good. What I need to do is on the floor, it's gonna keep wobbling back too much. Okay, so some gentle persuading is on the strip. They screw just, I'm very lucky with that. So, what I did, I uh, used a screwdriver with a point and gave it some sharp whacks with a very heavy axe. Carefully though. I managed to get this screw out, which is good. And this one I did as well. Okay, now this oil pan should come out. Perfect. And yes, this is classic. Look how big it, look how big it is. Open up, look. I can't even um, sweeten it. I can just about get a squeeze on this. This is literally plastic. If I scrape it for you, you might be able to just listen to it. Plastic, it's not even rubber anymore. So, honestly, if you haven't already changed this part, this will fall down in, into your engine. Bear in mind, all drip thing here. That's where the oil, that's where you, that's where you fill the oil up. That's right now. So the chain is literally just underneath this. So if that falls like this way, that's going to fall into your sump. If this breaks, now sump. So it's uh, very worth changing this. So I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm trying. Both things it. And it's, Fairly quick enough. If I push it onto the middle, like you should do, get connect, connect together. It's barely pressing. It's barely pressing at all. Not imagine if I rip this open, it would snap. It's staying open. It's not even flexing back. Not even flexing back. And you know, rubber should flex back, even if it splits in half. It should flex back, and you're not. It's not even doing that, you know. There you go. Rubber, rubber. It's making a uh, classic sound. Look at that. Horrendous screw hold on up. I did put a small amount of Loctite on them. Nothing major. Only only a very small dab. Nothing too big. All the screws are tightened down and the other holes have some squidgy next to it, which is good. And that's nice and on there now. But we're only about to stop play again so we're about to put this down and uh, wait until the rain stops.
Look at it, you go. I've the oil filter. Um, it's had so much, this is the top side, and it's had so much oil come through, it's actually stained the rubber with oil. And you see the filter, but it soaked the filter up, oil through the filter, here, here, here. And it's it, it, it still um, wet along here at the bottom, but there's still oil and it soaked through. And you turn it onto the bottom side, like it's in contact with the actual rubber, it's still, that bottom of there filter. Look how stained it, look how dried it. I've wiped all this. And look how stained it is. Yeah, I think it can be a new air filter as well. Now, for the car, yeah, it's not urgent. It'll, it'll be fine. But yeah, I'm gonna have to order myself a uh, new air filter. It's well from the Kiddy. Shame because this one is a June air filter and it's not been on the car that long. But um, yeah, not all just a rubbish Nick air filter. So yeah, gonna need, need a new one of them before. And this is as clean as it could get. Okay. It's not glue, it's all just the glue and stuff. All the film again was soaked in oil. You can actually squelch it and um yeah it's just squelched oil. So a lot of oil was coming through the air filter. So well not air filter but coming through this breather hose, a lot of oil. So um yeah, get it checked get it che checked. If you are on a M102 engine, get that if it, get that checked in that little hose. Because no doubt that will cause a lot of damage over time, either with rubber falling into the engine or the amount of oil that is coming through now and uh, doing that. And it's all the oil come through and it, all the oil will eventually be burned off by the engine, which is not good having all, the amount of oil being burned by the engine. So, yep, get that little rubber hose checked. Okay, so that job's all done. So hopefully, hopefully it washes that little bit of rubber that's that causing that massive amount of oil to enter the engine. So obviously quite a bit more oil had gone into that than I originally had thought. Um, how long had that been on that for? I am honestly not too sure because uh, the last time I opened the air filter house up was, well, prior to the breakdown, was, was uh, when I replaced the air filter itself. So obviously that hole could be was rock solid, pretty much more like plastic than rubber. So obviously that was quite hard. And it'd probably been like that for a while. Um, yeah. Good for this change, if a brand new rubber hose on, makes it nice and flexible, works how it should, nice and sealed all on there now, so hopefully it's not just that one that one little rubber hose, like £2.20, that was causing that issue, so the air filter will probably have to be replaced due to them staying on there, and hopefully the actual filter itself having them oil soaked into the actual element, so I have to get one of them ordered up, so it shouldn't it shouldn't um, cost, cost too much. I won't be able to order it today. Obviously, I think my CDs are shut now. And if I have a bit, I need to do my little research and uh, see what parts I need for that. And I'll ring them tomorrow. So it shouldn't be too too, too, uh, too bad. So, I would like to get when, when they're going to leave, I will get them up a rubber hose if you please. As, you know, they're working quite hard. So, I'll get them replaced, all, all them little hoses and stuff. Ho hopefully, uh, done. Uh, yeah, no, again, that'll be in a different video, so hopefully I don't have too much in one video, so the yeah, so next job really on that car now will be air 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 new air filter, breather and then breather holes, yes, and that'll be the main thing now, so we'll get them done and ordered up, and um, again it'll be a different video, but for now, I'm going to end this video, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to end the video now, but if oil is continuing to get into the air filter, I will add another part onto the end of the video after I've done my outro. But hopefully I can come to that stage, but um, yeah, if you see anything after my outro, seeing you know, more oil in the air filter, we have to dig deeper into why. And if anything, it would probably be the other parts of the breather holes that would definitely get replaced next. But I do think that one little hole would change under the, under the um, cam cover. I think that will be the cause of the problem, which hopefully it will be, or it's definitely, definitely causing a problem. If it's the full cause, we don't know yet, but a few good runs, we'll find out. And I'll, be, I'll be driving the guard tomorrow, and I'll give it a good little run out, come back, and I'll check the air filter, and if like there's nothing underneath, that'll be the end of the fifth video. You won't hear nothing more about it. But I'll definitely, I'll do more checks over the next month, driving out, checking, driving out, checking. Just you know, just little shit here and there to make sure. But and then if there's nice and no more oil, I'll then update you in one of my next 
um, channel update video part of that. So I'm going to keep it on the drive. I hope I've waffled on a bit too much there, I think. And uh, I'll let you get off. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and like the video. And give it a like and subscribe. It really does help to see this channel to grow. So once again, it's been on the drive. And I'll see you in my next video.